What's up guys, it's Bones and it's 4 a.m. And I'm probably more excited than I should be at 4 a.m. But that's because we're going snowboarding in Big Sky, Montana. Hope everybody's doing great out there. Their holiday was amazing, but now it's time for snowboard season. Like the true snowboard season, not the little hill I go ride on every day, like big mountain riding, big sky Montana. Now I've been doing this trip for over a decade and this trip means the world to me. It's so much fun. The group of guys that come with are such amazing dudes. The camaraderie and shenanigans that goes on is second to none. So it's 4 a.m. right now, and that's usually when we leave for the trip, so that way we can make it to Big Sky at a decent time. Now it's a 12 hour ride from Fargo to Bozeman, and then from Bozeman you still got about another hour up the mountain. We stop in Bozeman after a long day's ride, so we can gather some groceries, some beer, some liquor, whatever we need to make it for the week, we're staying out there. I'm really tired, but I'm super excited. My adrenaline's getting jacked up for this trip. I just worked a long shift from 6 p.m. till about 3 a.m., and now it's 4 a.m., and my buddies are on their way to come pick me up. We rent a Suburban for this trip, so no one has to put mileage on their own vehicles, have big enough space to accommodate all our gear and ourselves. There's only five of us this year, which is the smallest number we've ever had during this trip, but that's not a bad thing. A lot of these guys I've met through different various walks of life. We leave this early or late, however you want to look at it, so that way we can get out there at a decent time, uh, wax boards, just get all settled into the condo once we get there. My buddies should be here any minute. I got a few items I need to finish packing. I'm excited to take you guys on this trip this year. We shred we drink and we have a great time. You guys ready? Let's do this. Four in the morning, Mike decided to eat some bananas and uh, oh. some Dubliner. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Feels good. No. Eat that whole thing right now. Remember last year we had a nice box of chocolates, guys? What happened yeah, to that? We also had tater tot hot dish. That should happen. <laughs> All right, I'm for bed. So we do, we just listen to the hardest songs. It's what four men do. We just listen to hardcore rap on the way to Montana. Well, Sam, tell them who you are. Well, a lot of people recognize me from here down. Yeah. I actually cut my legs off. Yeah. Just to sit this close to you. Yeah. Best dedication. Yeah. Threaten this guy with you know, a good like time. Next thing you know, he's cutting his legs off. First time we met, you never asked me for my phone number, like how much money I made for a living. <laughs> he just really cared about the person I was. Catch her outside. How about that? You should really I think we slept about two hours. What does that mean? Solid, maybe like hour and a half sleep. You know, we're all getting a little loopy at this point. Now there's something going on. Yep. What does that mean? Just can't stop. Search yep. online, yep. getting love and views. You guys are going back. The whole world staying tuned in. Yep. Looks like we made it. We didn't make it yet. Nine. We're in billions. Uh, like three hours to go. But we're getting it. First real stop. So stretch the old legs out. $78,000 price tag. Yeah, well, price you gotta pay. What's a normal truck? 52? Come on. What's that thing, 80?
hour, what do you think, 45 minutes we got here? Walking around, just, I'll take some of those Cheerios, some of those uh, Fruit Loops, some almond milk, that'd be good. Unsweetened, vanilla, silk or blue diamond, that's the question of the day. Well, got what I needed for the trip right here. Beer, candy, it's pretty much what I live on at home. Oh, jeez. This stuff. Got candy in the air. It's everything you need. Gotta find our spot. It's a big place out here. It's warm out here. Warmer than I thought it was gonna be. It's 30 degrees instead of uh, well, mid 15s, what I like most. Taste that. Oh, Montana snow. Get these cleared for the old bighorn. Last time we damn near smoked them. Oh. Get this one. <laughs> Let's unpack this whip. Just waxing all our boards up, getting that done for the day. We'll have to do it about every other day just to keep it uh, nice and fresh. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight, Micah? No, but have you uh, walked through a cornfield on a moonlit night? That sounds really nice. Just got the boards all waxed up, ready for tomorrow, excited for this day on the hill. We got some snow coming up uh, a little later this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Should be a lot of fun. We got some food in us, got a few beers in now. Now it's just time to chill out. See you guys in the morning. Day one, gonna get it done out here today. Uh, Mike already hurt himself and we haven't uh, even strapped in yet. over there, check that out. We're gonna tear shit up today. Got my beer ready for the first run. Yep. That's how we party around here. Let's do this. First thing in the morning, first chairlift, we're cramming down beers because that's what we do. We haven't, this isn't even one full run yet. But his body is wandering. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Not much snow today, but we got ice hole and that literally is, that's like a close second. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Mm. Okay. That's how we party.
Well, we went off the path a little bit, but uh, I think we found our way back. It's pretty uh, untracked in here and tight trees. Yeah, but it was fun. We got to hit a couple good carves out there. There she is. What do you got there? It's good getting lost a little bit because you get the best stories and the best views. people don't know about these places out in Big Sky. There's these little like yurts or uh, huts, shacks, whatever you want to call them. They're off the beaten path to get to, but they're pretty cool to come to. People bring like couches and like all these crazy little things into here. Take a look at this guys, wild. I mean, we are in some dense forest here, but I've been coming here for a few years, so kind of learn where things are at, and they're pretty rad. The stillness out here is just unbelievable. No noise, sound doesn't travel, snow falling. It really makes you feel just small in this wide world of just beautiful landscape. It makes you feel like man was never supposed to be here. You wanna come in? I don't know if the light's gonna turn out properly in there, so bear with me, guys. 701, that's a Fargo number, isn't it? <laughs> hey, that tree knows how to snowboard. Fuck my tip. Sometimes we just stop and take some photos, you know? It's beautiful out here. Fresh powder. We're out here fucking getting it. Look at all this fucking snow. I don't even have a snowboard on. So much snow on this. this. A lot of snow. imported alcoholic ginger beer. Great day so far. Lots of fresh snow out here. Good friends. Had a bunch to drink, which uh, is the lifeblood of snowboarding. If you guys have never been like snowboarding out in the Rocky Mountains, it's literally second to none. I've snowboarded all over the nation. Montana snowboarding is like a hidden gem. A lot of people think about Colorado snowboarding. The market is just so oversaturated there that generally don't fully take in what this beautiful mother nature has to offer. I appreciate all you guys following along with me on this channel. I'm happy I could share this and be alive and give you guys this 
amazing terrain out here. You gotta experience it all. Pretty much zero visibility up there. It's probably a pretty terrible idea today, but we're doing it. We're really doing this. And all the way up today, got a newbie with us. That's what you do with new people. You bring them to the top, test their limits. Right, Bill? So, You're a newbie, just say yeah, it. That's it, newbie. This, this is your first time ever going up. Mountain peak version. That's crazy to think about. Yep. This thing's only a thousand feet longer than it is as high as we're going up. 3,000 feet, we're climbing two, over 2,000. The top elevation here is 11,166 feet with a vertical rise of 1,450 feet. Yeah, it's Air gets a little thin, boat. tougher to breathe, but we're going to do it anyway with all these people. Welcome to 12,000 feet high. Pretty snowy, visibility is almost negative up here. Uh, great idea to come here, buddy. We're gonna get it. Let's do this. Well guys, we're not gonna take any video on the way down, just because it's pretty dangerous. So, uh, we'll see you guys at the bottom. Made it off the bowl, survived it. Everybody's okay. Fun time, a lot of big snow up in there. Now we just got a really nice fun run coming the rest of the way down. A little colder out today, that's all right. Still snowing. That did not feel good. Yeah? Take good tumble. I don't know what happened. Tooth. Ugh. Ugh. Well, we found a really, uh, really big cliff to jump off of. I'm not gonna do it, but the newbie with us is gonna try it. This video probably doesn't do justice for how tall it is, but it's probably about a 20 foot drop. So when we're out in the woods, you know, we try to we try to respect nature, except for when there's dead trees, then we really get after it. You know, we, we just try to like, you know, clear paths for everybody. This is a uh, prime example right here. We're out here on Shedhorn, pretty slow lift. It's a trip to get back here, but well worth it because these runs back here are pretty few and far between that actually people make it down to it. When you see gaps on a chairlift, that's usually a good sign that you're gonna be having a great time. Snow just keeps coming down. You know, you don't want these trips to end. It's just like, you look forward to something for so long and then it happens and then it's done. All good things must come to an end, right? It's just surreal out here. So much fun. Appreciate all you guys coming on here. Thanks for watching my video, guys. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, smash that like button, and until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Do you think this branch will hold me? If I just walk out on it? No. That should hold my weight. Back, boys. <laughs> First tracks down this line. This is what it's all about.